my jungle love, yeah, oh we yo we yo, I think I wanna know ya, know ya, yeah, what? Hey everybody, what is happening? East Jail East, and I am back with a Madden 16 Ultimate Team gameplay. And today we found ourselves a top 100, ranked 31 overall. Uh, for some reason, you see he had a different name. He changed his name after I played him, I should say. Um, so I trust me, the gamer tech you see in the game, it's it's the same thing. <laughs> gonna be cool. I was rocking out the Arrowhead Stadium this time around, so I do got a uh, home field advantage out here. I've just been, you know, just messing around this part of the season. You know, hopefully next year they have some uh, cooler ones and really the uh, alternate jerseys I'm really hoping for. Then I actually changed the team jerseys up. You know, those were worth using uh, in Madden 25. And we come out, and we got uh, AP right there. That is the um, golden ticket Adrian Peterson. It is not my Adrian Peterson. I actually have it on loan, and it is from uh, Cougar Rob. He's a Twitch streamer. He, that card will be given away on Saturday um, in, in, in his stream. He streams on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, I see AP coming around right in there, uh, getting a nice little game right there. Um, and, and so what I would advise is to check in on his stream tomorrow night, um, and I'll put all the links and stuff down in the description and in the comments. And, and he's also in my channels. If you look at my favorite channels, uh, you can see Cougar Rob there. So you can go to his channel from my uh, feature channels and then uh, check him out there. But um, it will be that card and many others. He does it. This is a weekly thing he does in the shows. They're, these, you know, it's a game show stuff. Uh, it's real kickback. As you see, AP doing some work and we're going to get points on the board. Um, nice drive uh, to start the game out there. And, and that's the card. You'll be, uh, you know, someone's going someone's to win, you know. Uh, definitely uh, any GT uh, giveaway has got to be really nice. So uh, back into the game here. And um, was that? We got Watt, the new J.J. Watt out there. At, at, and I put him and there's Deacon Jones in. I played him for the night. This was basically I played 11 games this night. Uh, this ended up being the most entertaining one. Unfortunately, so many of them ended so soon. So many people just quit, man. It's like, geez, man, you know. Uh, he goes out, and we do get the Rod Woodson coming on on the heat there. Um, and I don't know if I ran that one much after that. I kind of wish I would have went back to it. But um, he's got a great, great man beater there. Uh, it's one of those things with the mans. Any of the ones that have, like, the purples, you know, where your guys are basically a block and release. A block and release really messes with man, especially probably if they don't have great play record or anything like that. But that may not even matter because um, normally when they release in man coverage, the person who is supposed to cover them is bl ends up blitzing on the play and they end up wide open. It's something, you know, you guys should always look at if, if you're having trouble beating some man coverage is, is having something with the purple that leaks out and he's got a big play big play we get the open field tackle out there with the night train but uh, it might be too little too late man as he's coming down and getting a, a you know good drive himself uh we got uh Derek brooks uh stuffing stuffing that one uh who's that michael james so i uh, definitely got some players and we do jj watt comes up and there we go making a sack uh, he got he got the uh first first one out here for us uh and He's in the corner. Uh, what is going on? Like, my guy's playing like idiots right there. Uh, I do not know what Josh Norman was doing in the back. He, I mean, again, it's just, I guess, the broken zones here, but there's no way. And I make the big mistake of the game right there. On for, I launch it up, and that's when I realized, I was like, that was Deion Sanders. And I figured it was probably a GT, perhaps. Either way, all the Deons are pretty beastly cards. So at that point, I was like, oh, crap, I'm, I might be in for trouble there. I didn't even realize dude had some stacked players and stuff. And, uh... You know, and, and, and definitely was a good drive. But normally, you know, on both sides, I don't think people worry too much about first drives. I think a lot of people, um, like myself, tend to give up touchdowns sometimes on first drives and then lock people out the rest of the game. So it's really about getting that, you know, getting it down, them second, third, you know, consecutive and putting it down. And this guy, he's got, it. oh, my goodness, he just out of my shoes. I played that so poorly, man. He got AP out there rolling too, making it happen. Uh, definitely, definitely got another. Uh, so both of us uh, getting big plays out there. His look a little bit nicer because he broke my ankles on that one. Uh, I, I just thought he'd go outside and he made a good cut out there. But I normally try to force people inside thinking my defenders will come and make the play then. And uh, not even nobody was there. So uh, coming out there and he, he's bringing some heat. He's got some different blitz uh, blitzes there that I'm having to worry about. And we, we did 
you know, get, uh, you know, a nice catch with, uh, you know, Julio and, uh, you know, the running game after that. He started, when people are blitzing kind of heavy, it's tough to kind of run into some of those. Um, you know, on occasion, you got to kind of get lucky and kind of get around them, most of them. And we do a little check down, but I'm just not able to get outside. I need him to get wider on that play, but I'm um, not, not able to. And if we do catch him slipping right here, though, and we catch him over the top with Mike Evans on third and five, 15 seconds left. So I had, I had to go for something there. And then we go to our big play in the back of the end zone with Dez. And uh, so there we, there we go, uh, taking that, getting the score back up, man. So now we go and we tied the game back up. So it's really just coming out. See if we can get a, get a stop on this in, the, uh, in this half. You know, but he's got he had one more play out here and just launched it up uh, to me, and and then well we do get the interception, so at least I do get one more shot now at the end zone. Uh, you know, basically just load up the play, see if we can find a blitz there for Dez, and we'll just we'll just take that out, man. And he's got extra wide. See, all right, we got a shot. At least it, at least he'll be in the end zone. And he's just got too much contact, too much contact. There ain't no way you're gonna catch that one. <laughs> uh, but you know, at least at least we had the chance at it. You know, those you you will still get those on occasion. You know how this game is. Uh, and he's coming out and, pff, dang, dude, dang, that's a mean catch, man. That's a that was a Madden 15 face catch right there. Uh, and he's coming on the outs and you know he's he definitely definitely had a great con a concept. Uh, my usering, I, I gotta say, wasn't top notch. As you see right there, I was just deep. And honestly, what happened? As I was watching the quarterback, I was kind of half looking at my player, but I was mainly watching the quarterback, trying to figure out why he always had so much time. I mean, he was just, all, you know, he just blocked a lot of guys. And that's just it. He blocked a lot. He always, you know, he always had you know, more like three. He did a lot of check releases also. And, and then when you do that and you're good at rerouting, you know, back, forth, reroute cheese. Um, and not, not saying it's cheesy because you got to have time to do it. So, you, you know, it, it, it's, it's the consequence of not blitzing. But when I did blitz, he did an excellent job of picking it up. So, uh, and, and burning me on a few of those. A few of those plays that burnt, were burnt were because I was, I was trying to get blitzes in that, that just didn't work. I don't really want, run any nano glitchy ones. I run really kind of base. And I thought I was in place there. I mean, what a great pass. That was a dot. That, that pass was, was, was perfect, man, because I was, I was in pretty decent coverage. You know, not gr perfect, obviously but pretty good coverage there that I would have picked off a lot of passes. And uh, so third and 17, and we're going to have to get out. We got Julio out again, man. Those, uh, every so often he'd get a blitz in on me, man, and I just and I forgot that he was running. He wasn't running, you know, he wasn't running nothing crazy, no Mike Scrape 3 or nothing like that at least. Um, so, you know, that's the, the, I, don't mind, I don't mind some of them um, because, there's, you know, as long as the, the – the, you know, I mean, you're not glitching out linemen. You can see where you know uh, someone comes off the D line untouched. I mean, I mean, blitzing and having linebackers loop in and stuff. I, to me, that just makes sense. That's that's normal stuff. So I'll, I'll never complain about that. And we go, and, oh man, try to get Julio on the on the ups right there, and it did not did not work, man. But it was it was a close one, and we do we catch him out here again with the uh, Dez catch him slipping on the user out there, uh, and and uh, you know I'll take that I'll take that matchup most of the time unless he's got him on the top. And he's getting again the reroute man. That was uh, that was really what what you know I, I was struggling with. Uh, I've I've stopped plenty of people who did that you know in the past. They'll get some off, but um, for, you know not today. This guy this guy definitely had my number. Um, you know uh, as far as his scheme goes and and my user not being you know it was decent. You know I was I was I was in the right spot a lot of times, but uh, you know you missed the one the one play that could change the game though. It was really 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 that one kind of probably hurt right there. But, you know, it, it, so we go down and we see, you know, he's got the clock right there on his side and just to get points. And, you know, so definitely want to keep him out of the field goal range. But once you're in field goal range, it becomes a pretty, pretty tricky situation there. You know, got to manage the time. And I'm already one, uh, down one timeout. He gets a big play and he stays in bounds there. So going to run it down to the two-minute warning. And, you know, I'm trying to cover out. No, nothing out there. And kicking it out. And we do shut him down, shut him down on that one, man. But um, you know, I end, up, I end up letting the clock go, seeing what he'd do with it, and he, and he hits a great pass, man. Uh, you know, you definitely beat beat the coverage on that slant, and I end up having to take a timeout, down to one timeout right then. I run on the outside, I run right into a blocker. Seen it, seen it when he uh, hiked it, but I just didn't get wide enough. I came in, came in too narrow. So did now down to a minute twenty. Uh, get make some plays. Uh, we got Peterson out there. Uh, I didn't. I ended up rerouting him and just going to that. Didn't like what I ran. I had to go up there get the first on that. Um, he's coming down. We're going to have to get a big play, but oh, dude, he comes free, comes free, and Peyton's injured, which cost me my final timeout, man. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. But 
Um, you know, I would have lost some time on the play anyway. There we go. We got our own reroute finally. I uh, did that against him, but uh, clock running, no timeouts. Going to have to go down here, see if we can get close. Over the top with Dez. He's in a great position. I mean, you got to know I'm going to Dez, I suppose, man. I could have went Julio, I suppose. So I go next play, I go to Julio because I know he's watching Dez heavy. And we go out, we get out of bounds. So driven down uh, right here, and I, and I try to get up the play, but he's got my receivers locked up. And there we go. And I, I was in position, but the pass just was not on point, unfortunately. Um, go down, I try it again, and we, I totally just sail that one. Um, so now third down, uh, no time on the clock here. I see Julio out there trying to get in front, and the pass goes over his head. I had position in there. If the pass would have been low enough, I could have made a, I could have made a play on it. But as you see, that was my loss for the, uh, for the whole season. But again, I thought it was the best game. So I don't mind posting losses if it's a good game. You know what I mean? It's all about entertainment here. But other than that, uh, thanks for checking this out, guys. Sorry I didn't come through at the end. But we'll be working on some more plays to help out there like that final drive. Peace.